Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. We have the G4 Tree, also known on Amazon as G4 Free. They got a misprint, okay? It actually does say G4 Tree on the label. <coughs> anyway, so this is a over-the-back quiver for left-handed and right-handed shooters, and it's got this interesting kind of like a three-point harness system which is kind of interesting um if you don't like the uh i don't even know what you the patch that comes on these things um they showed an american one uh on one i ordered obviously this one when i got it, it had a british one it's like cool that i like not that I have anything against America or Americans, I don't. I'm just not an American, for crying out loud. Nor am I British, but I do prefer the British flag. And I am a Canadian, and I don't like the Canadian one. But then again, I'm no patriot. I mean, have you seen what's going on in the country with the government we have? I have no respect anymore. Anyways, but that's a whole other ball of wax. Anyway, so if you don't like it, it peels right off, okay? piece of cake and it's got these little loops here you can put some little accessories into um, there's types of holders you can get that can uh, mount in here works really neat um, got a carry pouch in the front which is where I have my glove and my armband uh, for the recurve for at least the glove part <laughs> armband I wear it even on the compound um, can hold up to 30 arrows which is great Got 11 in here right now, so we got tons of room. Now this is, right now these all have field points, and it does have like a, kind of like a stiff pad, uh, foam pad of some sort, it's pretty stiff. Um, it goes on the bottom, you'll probably find it's not installed uh, completely when you get it, so just jam your arm down the bag, push it down there firm, and it gets the shape going and pushes this down where it belongs. I've got some of that material here, and what I'm thinking, is I'm gonna make, I'm gonna take this one out and trace it out and I'll make a, a stack of them about yay high and pop them down there so that I can stick broadheads in without having any issues. Not that I think I'll have any issues, but I'm not gonna fit 30 arrows with broadheads in this thing, that's for sure. You don't need 30 arrows to go hunting. So, you know, even getting, you know, six arrows in here for hunting wise, um, and this way, I, I protect the, the padding by putting extra padding in. That's just my idea of a little mod thing. Otherwise, it's, it's a pretty heavy-duty canvasy type material. This is a camo version. They still have cheetah and black available. Um, now, I, I am a left-handed shooter myself. So for that, uh, when the bag is this way, the right-hand strap, pop it off. Now I have these straps extended all the way, and I'm five foot nine, but um, anyways, let's, it really brings it up tight to you. Now you do have more adjustment room here that you can bring this all the way down like this. Gives you a bit more comfort, but then you still gotta be able to reach your arrows. So you gotta kinda find that sweet spot that uh, works for you now one thing i don't think is going to work out is if you're wearing like a heavy camo jacket or heavy hunting jacket you know that orange color we all now have to wear depending on what hunting season we're dealing with <coughs> anyway i don't think it's going to work out too well for that which means i have also got to order a quiver for my recurve um so for basically late spring, summer uh, type shooting, whether I'm target shooting or whether go out hunting at those times, um, then yeah, okay, you can get away with a light jacket, wear this, no big deal. There's plenty of strap for that. <coughs> but when it comes to um, the, the colder weather, you're gonna wanna wear a heavier jacket when you're out hunting this probably is not going to be practical fit now of course i i'm also a bigger guy i'm 214 pounds so maybe peeling off a few might help make this thing a little fit better but i highly doubt it because my chest size isn't going to decrease okay at least not by much and not enough to wear a heavy jacket that's for sure so 
I'm pretty much thinking even the skinny mini guys out there, I mean, you're wearing a heavy jacket, this is not going to fit right, okay? And all these bags are going to be the same way, right? So it's kind of like, well, you know, they kind of fluffed up there. If they had given us a lot more uh, strap on the length here, as well as a bit more here, I think that would have been absolutely perfect. But you know what? It was only 39 bucks Canadian for this thing. It is very quality built. It's very well built. Um, and I think its durability for the long haul is going to work out fantastic. So it's worth the 38 bucks. It's worth a four star review. I have no issues with that. But where it's losing some points with me, of course, is A, it's not perfect, and B, they could have put some longer straps on here to accommodate people that are wearing jackets when they're out shooting. Because if you look at the pics, it's showing a guy with a t-shirt. It also shows a much better fit. And this guy is probably, I give him about 192 pounds roughly. Um, but he's got more a little bit more height, so he's a little bit more flatter in the gut than I am. But chest is still chest. And this thing only goes on one way, so I'm kind of like, well, yeah, it's fitting him pretty tight too, so not going to work with a jacket no matter what, you know what I mean? Um, but otherwise, yeah, I think I'll be buying myself a quiver for my recurve. Um, I have other priorities right now, but eh, maybe in the next few months I'll order in a, a boat quiver for, for my recurve. I already have one on my compound, so I don't care. But uh, certainly for this time of the year, for target shooting in the backyard and easy access to having a pile of arrows in here to fire off crazily, um, definitely is a workable thing. Hunting, yeah, like I said, this time of year and even, you know, into probably maybe October at the latest, this thing might work if I'm wearing like a warm long sleeve shirt or maybe, um, uh, what do you call those pullovers? Um, Fleece, fleece pullover. If I wore that and it was warm enough to wear that, this would still still work with a fleece pullover, but nothing heavier than that. But anyways, that's where I'm at with this thing. I do like it, it works rather well. Um, been using it quite a bit in the last few days. Um, doing a lot of practicing and shooting a few videos for you guys at the same time for archery using this, and I really like it. Um, so this is something that I would recommend based upon caution that just be aware that if you are going to wear a heavy jacket either you're going to want to modify this yourself with some longer straps to compensate for the thickness of your heavier jacket or just buy a bow mounted quiver for your bow like most guys do anyways um, but uh, and I think that's where I'm going to be at too is I'm going to have to well like I said I have a quiver on my compound so it's not a problem but I'm going to need one for my recurve as well because either one of them are going to be used for hunting okay um so for that that's where i'm at on this one so um that's what we got for you on this video so thanks for watching let me know what you think the link to this if you are interested will be for amazon.ca you can go to amazon.com if you are not in canada or wherever your amazon happens to be in your country and you're watching this video from um, I do recommend it. I do think it's a great addition and it holds up to 30 arrows which with field tips, which is fantastic. Not sure how many broadheads on the arrows it's going to hold. It'll probably hold maybe a dozen at most, but you're going to have to be a little more cautious pulling the uh, arrow out, depending on the type of broadhead. I have um, tri broadheads, um, which are these little guys, so I probably won't be able to stack more than probably eight maybe ten arrows in the bag at once with these suckers on there because they're going to start trying to lock into each other so then that's something what now my new mechanical broadheads that stay you know round you can fit a whack load so you know anyway that's it that's all thanks for watching and see ya